Hello, I'm Severin Suzuki speaking for ECHO, the Environmental Children's Organization. We are a group of 12 and 13 year olds trying to make a difference. To come 5,000 miles to tell you adults you must change your ways. Coming up here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. 20 years ago, I was just a child at Rio. And I truly believed that if we could just speak to our world leaders, if we could just get through to those top politicians, that they could make the difference. Two days ago here in Brazil, we were shocked when we spent time with some children living on the streets. This is what one child told us. I wish I was rich. And if I were, I would give all the street children food, clothes, medicines, shelter, and love and affection. If a child on the streets who has nothing is willing to share, why are we who have everything still so greedy? I can't stop thinking that these are children my own age, that it makes a tremendous difference where you are born. My dad always says, you are what you do, not what you say. Well, what you do makes me cry at night. You grown-ups say you love us, but I challenge you, please, make your actions reflect your words. Thank you. Now, what, what did you decide, what, why did you decide to do this? Did you see all the pictures on the television of all the other yeah. children in Haiti? Mm-hmm. What did you think of what had happened? Um, I just thought it was really, really sad. So what do you hope that all that money will be able to buy? Um, um, a food, some food and water and a tent. Right, well look, we wish you well on this. This is at what, lunchtime today? Lunchtime today, that's So right. if people want to come along and cheer Charlie along, you'll welcome them? Uh, I think yeah. so. Children can do something that it takes adults so much longer to do. They, they reach out with their heart in a remarkable way. And it's quite remarkable that a little boy of seven can help UNICEF help so many people in such a remarkable way. Hey, this is Parker Leoto from the One Young World North Pole Expedition. Uh, we're here in Longyearbyen, Norway. We've been here for just over 48 hours, um, and it's been a busy couple of days. The idea of this expedition is, uh, is primarily to raise awareness um, among young people about environmental issues. Uh, I mean, it's, it's to inspire, inform, and engage young people in the issue of, um, of climate change. When, when I was your age, you know, my peers didn't really talk about the environment much. We really didn't care, and we certainly wouldn't have been going out to the North Pole to do something about it. Have things changed with your generation now? I think so. Uh, yes, definitely. I mean, the climate, climate change, environmental issues are really um, one of the main problems that we're facing today and what we're going to face you know, as a generation. Um, young people are really the ones that are going to be facing these issues, uh, which is why we need to be informed and engaged in the issue so we can try to solve it when, we are, when we're in the business community. Now there are many people who believe that climate change is an issue that is just too big a challenge for us to overcome. 
but we cannot be intimidated by the scale of the challenge. This is not a challenge of the future. This is a challenge that is affecting us all right now. It's a challenge of the present, and it should be treated as one. The science and the economics demand nothing less. Thank you very much again for this incredible privilege. What do, you, what do you parents, what do you teachers think? Uh, well, everyone's been very supportive so far. Uh, the school has been very, very supportive. Um, my parents are also, they've been, they've been helping in every, every, every way possible. Uh, they've been great motivators. Um, my friends at school also, they're, they're very supportive as well. Hi, I'm Milo. A couple of years ago, I started a project called Be Straw Free to reduce the number of disposable plastic straws we use and throw away. He's been to the Vermont State House, where he met the governor, and last month testified before the House Natural Resources Committee. Did they take you seriously? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so, and I, <laughs> I got them to agree not to use disposable plastic straws ever again. He blew away the committee. I mean, the committee was totally engaged in, in uh, questioning him, and, and nothing, nothing stumped him. I mean, it was, it was, it was quite amazing. Last week, Milo just launched his own website called Be Straw Free. He has dozens of pledges so far and just got his first contribution to the cause from Japan. Milo has a, has a world view that is uh, broad and deep and inclusive and he's just, he's a unique character. So I saw a bumper sticker that I really liked. It says the best way to predict the future is to help create it and I think, I think you and I can create the future for our planet. I and think you're right. this project is only one way. Thank you for letting me come and speak to you about something I care very much about. People without a home. I thought of that man almost every night. I worried about him almost for a year. And then I finally just had to do something about it. I just couldn't stop. I just had to stop being sad. Hannah came to me one day and, and said, Mrs. Hildebrand, I, could we have a lunch meeting? I, there's something very important I want to talk to you about. She had grandiose ideas of, of raising money and building a, a shelter. They said it was great. You know what, Hannah? I'd like to keep one of these and continue to do your okay. good work, okay? Thank you. You have made a difference in my life. You have. And on behalf of us, we have oh collected this goodness. for you. We just thought it's fitting. Oh my gosh, a bag and a jar, wow. Yes. Something that you can't put in money-wise. It's so much from the heart that she's sharing. And it's uh, really beautiful that to see the next generation doing this. On three, please shout, I care. One, two, three. I care! Thank you so much, you guys.